Hi, I'm Bruce from Gloucester, Virginia. You're watching Trucker Josh on YouTube. Make sure you like his videos, subscribe. Let's get him over 100,000 subscribers. Thanks. <laughs> Morning, Diesel. Another new day is upon us. Are you ready? You ready for it? We're going home. You want to go home? See Frankie? And see Chevy? And see Mom? Yeah, we're still here in Owatonna. Owatonna, Minnesota. And the good word is that there is no good word today. Uh, we waited here overnight just to see if there would be some freight this morning we could pick up in the area and take home with us. And turns out, nope, not lucky. So the load we have on us now is all we're gonna have on the trailer headed home. Uh, maybe we'll find something more in Winnipeg to throw on there. But for now, uh, we're just headed home because I wanna be home tonight. Then I'm home for Thursday, Friday. That's the next two days. And Saturday we head towards Winnipeg. Maybe they'll have something that they can throw on the trailer for me on the way there. Who knows? But uh, for now, the plan is just to go home. We've got about uh, eight hours or so. We're on I-29 northbound now. Going as fast as we can, which isn't quite the speed limit. Everyone's just blowing past me. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I didn't have a governor, but... I rarely want to go faster than 60 mile an hour anyways because of fuel economy reasons. But today, it would be nice just to get home a little sooner. We are uh, about two hours from the Canadian border and we've got uh, about two hours left on our American hours of service before we need to stop for a half hour break. I'm hoping to get to the US border before that so that I don't have to stop for my half hour break and I can just keep going and get home a half hour sooner. The fertilizers over there. I don't know if you can see that in the mirror. All the farmers are busy making sure their crops are growing. Everything is just so green. Won't be long before everything turns golden. And then the combines come out. And then the snow comes. This summer is just dedicated mostly to working as hard as I possibly can. Trying to get enough money put away for our roof by the end of summer. So we need to get that done before winter. Hoping to get it done. Uh, we have it scheduled to be done last week in August right now. We might need to change that to the last week of September. Hope not. Pinching all the pennies we can. Next summer we want to take it a little easier. We want to go and visit some friends. We'd like to go and visit our friends Moses and Colleen out in Virginia. And possibly uh, we want to go and visit Troy as well. Troy and Angie out in Washington State. Those are two opposite ends of the continent, so <laughs> gotta figure out when we're gonna get that done, but next summer we'll be a little more relaxed, I hope. And then we'll be back at it. I'd like to just enjoy my summer. It's so short, you know? Got ourselves back into Canada. Got searched at the border again today for the first time in for the first time since <laughs> for the first time since they saw my cameras in here and they wanted to see if I had any weird stuff on there. That was a while ago. I was in my Freightliner then, right? So well, it's probably like five years since I've been searched on the Canadian side. They wanted to see under my tarps too and see my load. But here we are on our way home. Uh, we got uh, 45 minutes to our yard. I'm just gonna drop the trailer off at our yard there and then head on home. We'll be uh, leaving with this load, like I said, on Saturday. Saturday midday to afternoon, supper time. Where'd that cop go? 
I had a cop that was following me. I guess he's gone now. Turned off somewhere. Felt like he was following me. I didn't know why. Had my eye on him for a good 10 minutes. I think sometimes they just want to, you know, read your plates and stuff and run your plates or something. Came up like right behind me. Just waiting for the lights to come on. What did I do now? I just want to go home. So I learned a bit of a lesson today. Got my heart pumping a little bit. You know, I hadn't been searched in so long at the border, but uh, I can't film anything while I'm crossing there either. And otherwise, because it'd be pretty cool to show you guys what happens when when you get searched and what the process is of that, but that that's a big no-no. I can't include that in my videos. Okay, dude, your lane ends like right. Okay, you're just gonna cut me off. Okay, all right. Minnesota, welcome to Canada. Cut me off. That's okay. All right. So I learned a little bit of a lesson today crossing the border. They wanted to search my trailer, and I haven't been searched in years, right? And uh, they wanted to see if what I said was under there was really under there, right? And they. For some reason, one of my shipments got flagged and they wanted to look under my tarp. First time I think this has happened since I've been on decks. So I was kind of shocked. I was like, oh, okay. They told me to go around the corner and park there and untarp my load or half of it and uh, go inside, right? So I go inside first, I check in, they tell me to go out, untarp half my load. So like, okay, I go out, untarp half the load, roll the tarps up so that they can see what's underneath there and get at it. Then I went back inside and I went to the bathroom and I come back out and the officer is out there. It, to me, it looked like he was sort of struggling to pull my tarps back a little further. Like I hadn't untarped it enough. So, you know, I go outside and say, hey, uh, you need a hand? Did I, I, did I not untarp it enough for you? And he said, no, no, I'm good, I'm good. Just go, go wait inside, please. Okay, so I turn around and two other officers were like running out the door at me or rushing out. Apparently you're not allowed to leave the building at all while your truck is being searched. Makes sense when you think about it, right? They don't know what I'm, if I'm hiding something and if I'm about to go and like cause the scene or I don't know. They don't know what I'm up to. Anyways, they were quite concerned that I was out offering him help. <laughs> <laughs> running out gave me a bit of a lecture I got my I got my hand smacked don't do that bad charter Josh and got my blood pumping a little bit because they were pretty serious they came out there and you know they're border patrol they're serious they they have a serious job freaked me out a little bit got my blood pumping thought I was in trouble which I sort of was but whatever they told me just stay inside please I was just trying to help them but learned my lesson. When your trailer is being searched, stay inside. Don't don't offer to help them. No, stay inside. Might sound like common sense to you. <laughs> I was just trying to be nice. So heads up if you ever do get searched. Uh, I always say, you know, I should just stick to my rules when I'm at the border. You know, don't speak unless spoken to. Uh, be polite, be courteous. They're just doing their jobs. Be respectful. And uh, don't help them with anything unless you're asked for help. Okay? When they tell you to go somewhere, you go there and you stay there until, until they tell you to go somewhere else. Lessons with Trucker Josh. They are really nice people. I recognize those Border Patrol guards. I know one of you watches my videos. I wonder if you're watching this one right now. I'm sure you don't watch all of them, but... <laughs> you freaked me out. You scared me. Jeez. Uh, but anyways, we're on our way now. And uh, maybe it's it's good to have a little uh, bit of a refresher like that every now and then so you don't get too lazy at the border. You don't get too comfortable with smoothly crossing through every time, right? You got... It's a serious thing and you're crossing an international boundary and you gotta be... You gotta have all your ducks in a row. Because everything can go... You know, if you mess up with them there, they, they have a lot of authority to mess up your life. 
and they can mess up your career pretty quickly if you give them a reason to. So just be respectful and don't don't make any sudden movements. <laughs> uh, and I thought they were like gonna drag me back inside. I, I don't know. I don't know what they thought I was gonna do, but I mean, look at me. I'm harmless. Just because I have a tattoo doesn't mean I'm gonna be big and scary, right? Why is my fridge open? Diesel, did you open the fridge? There's no snacks in there. What are you doing? Chevy. It's the next morning and it's... Hi, Frankie. It's breakfast time. Oh, oh, oh that's oh, a oh, big oh. one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I ruined breakfast. I'm oh. sorry. I was so disappointed. I'm a horrible wife. I <laughs> dropped a tomato too. Tomatoes are fine, you can drop Fired. them. You should get a new one. <laughs> so we did make it home yesterday. The sun was up so long, cause uh, yesterday, actually no, today is, when I'm filming this, is the longest day of the year. You know that? Summer solstice today, is right? the 21st? I don't know. Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. yeah so summer solstice today. Yesterday I got home at 10 o'clock and the sun was just barely below the horizon. The sky was still completely bright, everything. It felt like it was maybe like 6.30, 7 o'clock in the evening. This whole back sky. Tonight we'll go take a look at it because I'm home tonight. You'll see the longest day of the year, this sky never gets dark. The sun goes up from here, goes around that side of the sky over there and comes back and sets like way up there in the northwest. And then it goes just below the horizon all night. I mean, it does still get dark, but that sky still stays lit up all night. This is my favorite day of the year. No, actually that's a lie. Christmas is my favorite. So happy summer solstice to all the pagans out there. Woo! <laughs> all right, it's time to eat. Oh, that looks good. Look at all that goodness in there. No bread. I got my mama's boy cup and my mama's boy mug. You certainly are. Oh, I'm sorry, did I just sit down on camera? I'll admit it, I'm a mama's boy. Oh, are you? I love my mama. She's a good mom. She got me a mug. And now it's time just to enjoy a couple of days at home. So I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we got to run into Winnipeg. I got a chiropractor appointment. I messed up my back. I think I told you when it happened, right? When I was unloading the, the heavy steel uh, in Brandon a couple of weeks ago. I messed up my back then and it hasn't been getting much better, it's been getting worse. So we're gonna go get me all cracked up and aligned tomorrow. So tune in tomorrow, it'll be a home time vlog. I'll see you then. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey, this is Matt from Michigan and you're watching TJV on YouTube. Have a good one and drive safe.